so. yesterday all come out all right apart from one pound the, uh, the side bearings two of that whatever paint is underneath didn't like what we put on it and it's all reacted in the in the gaps where it's sat in it so I've had to take it back to this green but the rest of the time it's flat it down really nice and flat um, luckily this top half is going to be a different colour anyway, so we do it all one colour, line now, put the second colour on, and we're going to treat the first colour as a bit of a primer, try and take these off. Uh, what I'm going to use is a coat of bar coat, I should have put it on before the primer but I didn't think about it, to be honest, coat of bar coat and then put the first colour on. But the rest of the bits are alright, there's a couple of little cracks that are filled in before the colour goes on. Luckily we're doing it in two pack. A bit more forgiving and base and clear. Let's rub some stuff down. I suppose you might have worked out the first colour is baby blue it's actually the colour that we put on uh, a Defender beach buggy thing for HX Motors a little while ago 
And we stick a photo up. Ooh. That's the first colour, it's got two more colours and then a little bit of matte black. Matte black. Unless I can get it made up in a sticker. But I am knackered and tired. It's been a long day. We've had a lot of people come in, waffling, hanging about. So I'll give you a little glimpse of these. I won't show you the runs. I'll miss that bit out. But have a little look. Before you say it, yes it is quite thick, a little bit peely, but it's a race bike, why do you want a glass finish? I want a bit of build, it's a commercial finish. <sighs> the other bits are primed anyway, so they've got to be buzzed off. The blue bits have got the weekend to dry, buzz these other bits off Saturday, I won't show that, because it's boring. Laters. I'm going on.